everyone. I'm joined with Chief Waterman and his wife Sylvia of Medford Township Police Department. I just have a few questions about the event tonight. So how would you say that you approach building trust and rapport within your community? Building trust in the community is by providing quality police services that are built on integrity, uh, respect and fairness for our consumers, and, and applying those factors to it leads to um, a continued conversation and a level of trust that can be sustained over time. And how would you say these type of events help you build trust and familiarity with those community members? I think most importantly it puts a name to the faces of the members of the police department. Our officers are seen by the community, the community can approach them, and they really look at them as like human beings, like just like everybody else. And it really makes them feel comfortable and more approachable. And have you ever seen instances of community feedback affecting policing strategies and policies? Absolutely. Um, I, I welcome feedback, positive and negative, and we really do take into account what the community says and what their needs are because ultimately they're the consumer and they drive what the direction of how the community is going to proceed. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Haley Chenier. We're out here at this year's National Night Out for Medford Township Police. I'm joined here with Ronald Murphy of Murphy's Fresh Markets, our first business of the evening. And Mr. Murphy, could you tell me what motivated you to participate in this event? Well, number one, it's community. Number two, I have utmost respect for police officers. And number three, I just, I just love being here with the people and the excitement. It's just a great time. Awesome. And how can community members get involved or benefit from what you do or get involved with your business? We, we are all about sharing with others. Uh, older people, young people, needy people, most of all hungry people. So if somebody knows if somebody is hungry and we're, we know about it, they won't be hungry no more. All right. Thank you so much. Welcome. It was a pleasure seeing you. Hi everyone, I'm joined with Corporal Kiernan of Medford Township Police Department. I just have a few questions about tonight's event. Yeah, absolutely. How important is community engagement in your daily duties as an officer? Uh, I think that community engagement is very important for a police department and I know that we love to meet the members of the public and, and talk to the members of the public and you know interact with them and answer any questions that they have. I think it's very important uh, for a police department to be um, close to the to their community members and have good relationships with them as well. And how do you think events like this help build trust and familiarity with the community? Yeah, um, I think that it's, it lets people, uh, people are able to meet us and we become more, of a, you know, more humanized and they're able to see our equipment and kind of get to know us um, personally and then they're of course way more comfortable with us when they, when they see us out in the public as well and I think that that helps too. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for yeah, answering. Absolutely. Have a good night. You as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm joined with Chief Dovey of Medford Township Fire Department and retired Lieutenant Wagner of Medford Township Police and I just had a few questions for them regarding the event tonight. I just want to know what message you'd like to share with community members attending this year's event. I think this, uh, this event helps bridge the gap uh, with the community between the police and it's, it breeds a positive reinforcement of the police and our, and our community-based policing that, that Medford Police prides itself on. Yeah, and I think, you know, the important part is you see not just the police, but the fire department, EMS, uh, and the whole community coming out to be together, uh, see the military helicopters, and really just have fun. And I think that's that's the key, is bringing the community together to communicate and enjoy everything that we have as a town. All right. And are there any upcoming initiatives that either department has to help build community engagement? Fire Did I prevention. 
about yep. that point, right? Yeah, we got fire prevention night coming up in a, a second week in October. I believe it's Friday the 13th. I'm not 100% positive. Um, and then I know there's a Cops and Cars event coming up in September uh, that the police department's hosting at uh, Village of Taunton Forge. It's like Cops, Cars, and Coffee. So, All right. Yep. Look out for those. All right. Sounds All right. good. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. Good to see you. Hi, everyone. I'm joined with Zoe Chenier, a local resident of Medford. And I just want to know what brought you out to tonight's event. That was not the question. I was asking you, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. We're no? going to redo it. <laughs> she wants to redo it. I'll ask you the one, OK? OK. Do you want me to ask you what brought you out? Yes. What are you most excited for? No, just ask me whatever you think is easiest. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm joined with Zoe Chenier, local Medford resident. I just want to know, have you had a local <laughs> love? What do you want me to ask you? Ask me the two questions you were going to ask. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm joined with Zoe Chenier, local Medford resident. I just wanted to know what brought you out to tonight's event. I came out because it's very close to my house and I love coming here every year to support my father who is a retired police officer. And can you share any positive experiences you've had with the local department? Yes, my father, again. <laughs> um, he's very supportive and he was a very good officer when he was on duty and just always there for everyone. Made lots of friends. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm joined with Chris and David Ford of the Medford Sunrise Rotary Club and I just want to know what motivated you guys to get involved with this event tonight. Well we wanted to be here to be a part of the community because uh, everybody in Rotary is part of the community. That's really why they join Rotary. They feel that they've been blessed and they want to share some of those blessings by giving back and making the community in which they live a better place. Awesome. And can you share how you get involved with the local community more exactly? Or? Sure. I mean, everybody sitting here is an integral part of that team. Uh, we, for example, go uh, three or four times a year and collect a lot of goodies that the troops serving overseas don't normally get to enjoy and then send those over, little goodie packages. Uh, we collect food for uh, people that are homeless, uh, along with clothing and that kind of stuff. The beautiful memorials that you see over here are a big part of uh, what Medford Sunrise Rotary has done over the year to honor first responders. Uh, and then one of our signature events certainly is on this very field where for the whole week over Memorial Day, uh, the, the entire field is covered with full-size American flags, uh, each one of them with a medallion honoring somebody who served our country in uniform. It's a beautiful display. That you it guys really put on. is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's so awesome. moving. Thank you guys for uh, answering my questions tonight. You're very, very Stay well. Cool. I'm joined with Ollie and other members from the YMCA camp here in town, and I just want to ask them, are you having fun tonight at the event? Yeah, yeah. it's great. What are you most looking forward to tonight, or what is most exciting for this event? For me, it's like seeing everyone around Medford, getting to know more people. Like we're all international, so it's really nice like seeing, you yeah. know, the locals in Medford. Yeah, and what do you guys do for the camp? What's so, the mission? I'm a head counselor of sixth grade, so I'm like a village leader. I think you guys do different I'm stuff. Director, okay. And I'm the archery director. Awesome. So how does it feel being involved with the community and giving back to the community? It's good, it's good. Yeah. It's good to see our campers around. As well. Awesome. Yeah. We've yeah. seen a few campers around, so it's nice to and meet like parents you. and. Yeah. Stuff like that, yeah. Awesome. Really cool. Thank you, guys. I hope you have a good night. Yeah. Thank nice you. to meet you all. Bye. All right, everyone. I'm joined with John and Gina of CERT, and I have a few questions for them regarding the event tonight. Could you tell me, John, what exactly CERT is and what you do? Sure thing. So this is the Pinelands Regional Community Emergency Response Team. That's what CERT stands for. Okay. These are just regular citizens who have taken specialized training available from federal government through the state of New Jersey, Burlington County, down to the municipal level, where they learn how to take care of themselves, take care of their families, and then get involved in helping their neighborhoods and supporting one another through emergency preparedness. Awesome. So all the materials that we're preventing and sending out tonight to folks is to learn more about what to have in your home in case there was an extended power outage, or if you had to evacuate for some reason or another. Okay. Um, we also are set up to support our first responders. So a lot of the folks that are part of our team are also involved in different public safety agencies, police, fire, EMS, OEM. Um, and we represent, uh, it's a regional team, 
So it's uh, Bass River, Medford, Shemong, and Tabernacle are all part of our agreement. The four towns support it. We take members and trainees from all different towns across Burlington County, but these are the towns that we primarily support, which is why we're here tonight in Medford for National Night Out. And could you briefly tell me for members of the community that might be interested in becoming involved in something like this, what they could do? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. We actually have a flyer uh, a couple times a year, and we have one coming up in September. Uh, is a class. Uh, it starts on a Friday. It's Friday, September the 13th in the evening and then all day Saturday and part of the day Sunday. So September 13th, 14th and 15th. This flyer here has a list of the classes that are taught. It's all free of charge. Um, disaster preparedness, what the CERT team does, uh, emergency fire suppression, medical, basic medical operations, uh, basic light search rescue, disaster psychology and terrorism. So there's a lot of different topics that are covered over that period of time. On the last day, there's a small practical to demonstrate your skills, mm. very hands-on, uh, and then the folks graduate. At that point, they're, they're better prepared to take care of themselves and their family. If they want to take the next step and become involved in a team such as ours, and other towns have these teams as well, there's instructions through the instructor on how to go ahead and sign up. Awesome. Well, thank you for answering my questions, and thank I hope you. you guys have a good night. Thank Stay you. cool. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hope you yeah. Up. Hey. Bye. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. I'm joined with Joe, Bert, and Brenda, Burlington County Radio Club, and I just want to ask them to tell us a little bit more about the club and what they do. Well, um, we have a lot of fun with radios, to be honest <laughs> with you. Um, you know, uh, amateur radio is a long-time hobby for many in the country, and uh, we, we're looking to uphold that tradition. Um, it gets us into uh, fields where we wouldn't normally be. I always kid that I was more of a woodshop guy than an electronics guy, but <laughs> this has brought me along real well. It's a family thing. Brenda's my wife. Joe's a good friend. Um, our club, the Burlington County Radio Club, is a uh, smaller organization but it's like a family we take care of each other we look out for each other and uh, we share our experience and that's the wonderful thing about amateur radio and what would you say your involvement with cert tends to be okay and our involvement with cert really is is uh, an opportunity to use this radio experience in the event of a uh, uh, calamity, disaster, um, you know, a, a need to communicate when maybe the standard uh, communication uh, uh, op opportunities <laughs> yeah. Uh, fail. Yeah. So, awesome. that's, that's our... Yeah, in essence, we're the backup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're the backup, according to FCC, to uh, all communications and all communications fail. They use ham radio operators basically to do communication. So like an event like when Sandy, you know, hit and basically all the cell towers were down, whatever. Yeah. Ham radio operators would actually be able to talk to people across the country and contact relatives of wow. indiv individuals. So it's a good way of communicating to the outside. Wow. Yeah, it happens in Florida all the time. You know, when a hurricane yeah. rips through Florida, the, the cell phone towers are down. Most people don't have electricity, but it's the ham radio operators that are able to get information around. Particularly from people like us up here in the north, we're curious, you know, how our families are down in Florida. So uh, we can get that information through ham radio operators down in Florida. Awesome. Thank you for telling me a little bit more. It was nice to meet you guys. You I think we're good. Thank Everyone, you. I'm joined with Alasia and Ian of ShopRite of Medford, Zally ShopRite, and I'm just going to ask them a few questions about the event. You can take this and hold it. Okay. So what motivated the business to be participating in this kind of event tonight? Basically, we just like to give back to Medford, you know, because we're in Medford, we just, you know, we just like to be in all the events and just show our face and just support everyone and all the other businesses as well. And do you know how the business uh, plays a role in giving back to the community, like what they try to do? Um, we give a lot to the food banks, especially St. Vincent de Paul, um, and also we raise, we raise a lot of money for Partners in Caring that donates to um, all the South Jersey food banks. Awesome. And, yeah. Good to hear. All right, what are you most excited for tonight? I'm going to be honest, looking at uh, all the helicopters and stuff landing in the background. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I really well, that's all, folks. That wraps up this year's National Night Out. Um, I hope you had a good time watching us tonight, and hopefully you can join us all next year. Again, my name is Haley Chenier, and it was a pleasure hanging out with you. <laughs>